Hey guys, what's up? It's G. Welcome back to the channel, Prince Zebra. And today I want to show y'all how to sublimate on cotton. So let's get right into it. First things first, you want to make sure that you have your design. If you don't, make sure you get your design PNG with no background and you can get a design with the background. But the first thing you want to do is open up Silhouette Studio. So you want to click right there, open up Silhouette Studio, make sure you've already downloaded the latest version. Of course, I don't have to tell you guys that. So <clears throat> right now in 2021, we are using Silhouette Studio and this is the base version. And let's first things first, let's grab our design. Now, remember, you already got your design, you saved it somewhere. So me, I already saved my design and I'm gonna open up my design. Now this could be a PNG or a JPEG guys. So this is the design that we're gonna be working on today. This is Scoob, right? And this is not for resale or anything. This is just for fun, just to let you guys know this is just for fun. So the first thing you want to do is get your design, right? Now you see right here, this is telling you what's the sizes of your design. So the first thing you want to do is get your page set up. So I'm using a Silhouette Cameo 4 Plus. The difference between this and the Cameo 4 is this is 15 inches wide. It's the Plus model. They have a newer one. I think it's the Pro. And that one is 24 inches wide, which is awesome. I'll be grabbing that as soon as I get a chance. But for now, we got the 15 inch model. That's why you see this paper all the way up to 14 inches because that's the set mat and you see 15. So the mat is a 15 by 15 inch mat that comes with this. And this can cut a roll and it doesn't actually need a mat to cut. Now let's get into this. So for you guys to get started, you want to make sure you hit this top thing here. And this is the page setup panel. As you see, as we hover over it, it says open the page setup panel. So that's what we want to do. We want to open the page setup panel, right? We got our PNG. If you don't have it at this point, go grab your PNG or your JPEG picture, whatever one that you want to print and cut. Okay. So after you do that, you set your machine. What, sh what machine do I have? I have the Cameo Plus. What size is your cutting mat? My cutting mat is 15 by 15. What is the media size? What's the paper size, the transfer paper size that I'm gonna be using for? Because I'm making a t-shirt, guys. I'm making a t-shirt, so I need transfer media. And the transfer media that I'm using is 11 by 17. So right here I have it set to custom. You could click it on custom. They have presets eight and a half by 11, 12 by 12. They got A3 paper, A4 paper. So if you guys have any of that, y'all could just use one of the presets or select custom like I did. And you don't even have to select custom. You could just come over here and start clicking on this, right? Or you could just double click this and actually type in the size that you want. So I want this to go all the way down to the bottom. My paper would go two inches further. Now, if I wanted to, let me just show you. If you guys wanted to have a bigger cut than this, a longer cut, you could just come over here and customize your mat size. Say for instance, if I wanted to use a Cricut mat, I could come over here and do uh, 12 by 24, you see? And then make the mat really big and cut even bigger. As long as my transfer paper, you know, could be accommodated, this would accommodate my 11 by 17 um, paper. But I'm not gonna use that mat for that. I'm gonna use the mat that it came with. So we're gonna type this back in to 11. By 15. The mat is 15 by 15. 
it's only going to be a cup a little bit of paper hanging off at the bottom which as you can see I'm not using it all so it doesn't even matter um, about that paper hanging off at the bottom but if it did and I'm just letting you guys know if you wanted to use the full sheet you can adjust it here make sure you adjust it in the media size it says cut and mat none and if you wanted to use a roll you could have no cutting mat but I alerted the the cutting machine to know that I am going to be using the Cameo Plus cutting mat the 15 by 15 mat so that's why that's here okay moving right along guys we got it customized to 11 by 15 because we got 11 by 17 paper we got it in portrait mode you want to leave it in portrait mode right now the main thing about printing and cutting is the registration marks remember we in page setup so in case you guys get lost come back click here you're in page setup click on here see we was here now click back on here you can mess around with the registration marks now if you guys don't know what registration marks is I'm just gonna cut them on so you can see okay boom did you see that turn them off boom okay these registration marks let your silhouette cameo know exactly where your design is. It sees that with the with the light, and then it knows where your design is. As you see, the measurements are here. This is a kids a kids T-shirt we're doing right here. So it's like 10 inches tall. That's like really big for a kid size. So we're gonna make it a little bit smaller. To like nine and a half and you could also dial that in right here if you wanted to like you could just type in 9.5 hit this lock button and everything will move together okay so now that I got my image right where I need it to be or really the size that I want it to be I'm gonna flip it horizontally what I did was I right clicked flipped it horizontally right you could tell because Scooby-Doo's neck tag is back anyway now we need to trace this image so the cutter knows where to cut okay now I'm ready to print so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right over here hit print okay so I just said this print job to the Epson F570 let's see what happens it successfully grabbed the paper This is the print that we have. We have our scoop. Okay, you see it came out correctly because his name tag is backwards. We got our registration marks pulled in nice and tight. Now, for the moment of truth. Woof, woof. Now it's time to cut our design. So we go over here to the Cameo Plus and 
we got our design right here. So let's load it up. It's like Cameo 4, but it's just bigger, right? You pull out the little tray. This is where the roll goes. If you had a roller, you wanted to use the rolling part. But today, we just need to use this part. So, you want to line this up to these arrows, right? Everything there, it, you don't need pressure, but just slight pressure so it could grab it. And then just hit the up button. Come back over here to Silhouette Studio where you didn't move your design, I hope, okay? You still got everything the same way you print it. You got your Cameo loaded up. And now it's time, yes, it is time to send this to the Silhouette Cameo. Okay, so first thing we want to do is go right over here and hit send. Okay, guys, so now all you have to do is after you send it to your Silhouette Cameo Plus or your Cameo 4, I'm assuming this works with whatever Cameo that's available. You want to do a couple of key things here. You want to make sure that your material is set to whatever material you're using so for this paper which i will leave a link in the description for it and it's more like a like a printable vinyl so i'll leave a link in the description for it so you want to do heat transfer smooth right i got it on auto cut cut the ratchet blade is detected so we good to go these settings the force and the speed force is at four the speed is at eight those were the auto settings. I didn't touch it. So just letting you guys know, if you change it to heat transfer smooth, most of this pressure stuff changes by itself and you can leave it like that. So now that we sent it there, it's asking, do we want to send it mirrored or send it as is? Now, since guys, this is gonna go on a t-shirt, we already pre-mirrored this image. So we want to send it as is because if we mirror it again, it's going to flip it and mess everything up. You want to send it as is because you're doing print and cut. It cut it. So let's see what we came out with. Let's see how this comes up off of the paper. If it's gonna be hard to cut or not, I don't know. But what I'm gonna do is peel it from the corner to get it started. Okay guys, so you just see it's a little bit of excess right here. Just our machine making fine cuts. Doing what it does, getting a close, close cut. So we're gonna check in around the edges to make sure we have no more of that around anywhere. And as you see, it did an excellent job on cutting school bout, okay? So now let's lift this, as I can see this is our waist. Let's lift this from our mat. And this is our transfer. So if you see, this is how it's gonna go on the shirt. So let's get it to the shirt. Okay, so for this part, you're gonna wanna make sure that your heat temperature setting is set to 356 degrees and you want to make sure that your time setting is for 15 seconds the first time. We got our transfer over here. Heat up our heat press and we'll be right back. So now our heat press is up to temperature. 
We got 15 seconds on the timer. We're going to move the heat press over and get everything else prepared. Right? We got a cotton shirt. And this is how you sublimate on cotton. I don't know if you guys can see the tag, 100% cotton, whatever. You know, you could tell that this is a cotton shirt. Anyway, um, right here, what we're gonna do is just give the shirt a de-moisturization press. Now, that's like a five to seven second quick press Right, just to get any moisturization out of the shirt. Okay, so now we did that, right? We basically got all of the moisture out of the shirt with that one press. Now, this, let me explain this heat transfer first. Now, that I got. This, this heat transfer is forever paper. It's Subliflex 202, right? And I know you guys see this line around it, but I left that there. That was done purposely. This line was done purposely. This is how you want to press it. You got to make sure that it's flipped around like that. Now, what I'm doing right now is centering the design to my liking. Now, some people use like a four finger measure. So that's like a four finger measure. This is a small cotton t-shirt. This is about where I want the design on the shirt. Guys, you see it? So that's where I'm gonna place it. And now what you wanna do is if you're gonna use this Forever Subly 202, I think it's called Subly Flex 202, which is sublimation transfer paper. So you cannot use inkjet printers with this. This is for sublimation printers only. So unless you have a sublimation printer, you do not need this paper because this paper takes sublimation ink. That's the key point. So sublimation only. What we want to do is get our Teflon sheet and press this for 15 seconds. At 356 degrees, firm to medium pressure. So you press it 15 seconds. In 15 seconds, you let it cool down, right? After you let it cool down, you can peel it. Okay. So now, if you guys can see, this is how it looks so far. Now, the image looks faded. It's not complete yet. There's one more process that we have to do to this shirt to make the image pop. The colors are gonna pop, trust me. So, I want you to see this. This is how it is before you peel it. Now. Everyone says, you know, just let it cool for about five minutes. What I do is I go like this. I walk around and I let it cool like this. I wave it around for a few minutes. And you'll feel it. It'll be regular like room temperature. And then you'll be able to peel it. You can peel it now, but you don't want to. What it's doing is letting the glue adhere to the shirt. So you leave it as flat as possible let that glue dry and when it's done you peel it when it cools off you peel it it usually takes about 45 seconds you're holding the shirt I'm basically holding the shirt in place and just peeling it off letting it just come off like that All right now you got it like that straighten it out flat so what we want to do now is we peeled off the paper and this is my method. So what I'm gonna do is press it for 30 seconds more with the actual carrier sheet that came off of it on there again. So I place this back on there, right? I put this like this, I do like this. 
press this for 30 seconds that would have you press it for 30 seconds but it would wouldn't tell you what to put on top of it in the instructions meaning that if you put parchment paper there or teflon paper there and the reason why i don't put the teflon paper there on this step is because i don't want any grooves in it from the teflon paper it is fully sublimated Now that's color for you, All right? So let me just peel it because you don't got to wait this time. Like you don't got to wait this time. It's already stuck to the shirt. So you want to just make sure you peel this off and boom. Now you got a fully sublimated tea. See scoop. He came out awesome. Now, there's one more step to this. If you want to do it, you can do it. Do you see how Scoob has like a shine to him? Okay, some people like that gloss. And with washes, this will die down some. But some people don't like that gloss. And they want it to look more like it's in the shirt. So, if you do want that gloss to go away, all you have to do is throw it back on the heat press. Right? Throw it back on the heat press. Right? You flatten Scoob out. You make sure all his edges and everything is down and there's no parts sticking up or anything. Okay, you don't use this paper again. You use Teflon paper. Don't use butcher paper because it will stick to the design. Never use butcher paper when you sublimating on cotton. Only when you sublimating on polyester. Okay. See, that's why I be making videos like this so you guys can understand and see how to do different things. Sometimes you can't go by the directions. You need to follow your own methods. Okay, so now that you let that go, you do that for about 30 seconds, right? And then you take your Teflon paper right off of there. And now you got a more matte look, a more in the shirt look, a more finished look, should I say, to some. Some people want that 3D look. This right here is perfecto. Okay, guys, that's how you sublimate on cotton. If you like this video, if it helped you in any way, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit like, ding the bell for notifications. It's G from Print Zebra. I'm out.